like, comment, subscribe! What's going on guys, it's Dan here and welcome to the game unboxing. Today is October 25th and today we are unboxing Batman Arkham Origins and the Collector's Edition on PlayStation 3. Oh yes, big release today and I'm lucky that I actually got it off today. So normally you wouldn't have probably seen this till later tonight or even tomorrow or even the day after. Who knows, just because of the Friday release to screw me up. But it is what it is, we got it going. So anyway, I got it on PS3 for a few reasons. Um, well, Arkham City I got on PS3 because they gave you exclusive content just for getting PS3. So I assume they do the same for Arkham Origins, which they did, obviously. This is exclusive downloadable content that you can't get on the 360. So here we are. Now, I pre this so long ago, I have no idea what is exactly in it except for the statue. So aside from the statue, I don't know. So I think this thing, I don't know if you can just open it from both sides. Yeah, okay, hold on, sorry, I didn't cut the bottom one. There's bottom ones and the top ones as well. There we go. So it's kind of like a slip cover. In theory, it should slide off. There we go. These make it so difficult. There we are, slip cover is gone. Also, it shows you on the back, but I'd rather it be a surprise. <laughs> what you getting? So, unravel the flap. Is there more tape? No. Okay. Warning: Fragile. Remove product carefully. Okay. All printed material made in China. They look at this. They printed on one giant sheet of paper. That's it. You could have put that on a sticky note. We would have gotten a point. Good lord. What's this? Oh, I think these are the lithographs they were talking about. So right on the top, you have the Batwing prototype. It's like a blueprint of the thing. On like a fluorescent, I can't remember what you call this paper. But that's that. There's a few more in here as well. This one has been text, what? You know what, this is power to the people. Look, they took an ordinary map and they put some sort of fluorescent stuff on it. Like you got phase one, sorry, I don't know, I'm gonna sit down here so you can see this. Um, I don't know if you can really read it just because of the ink they used there, or whatever. See, for example, over the Batman Origins logo, Origins, Oregon, Origins, you have like the Anarchist logo, I don't know if you could see it. Like see, if I rotate it, you can kind of see it, power to the people, etc. Like I said, it's textured, I don't know what kind of print this is, but this looks like Gotham. But, and maybe a few, I'm not sure what this is exactly. I'll have to, you know what, let me just look at the, uh, the back here and I'll see what it says about it. Um, let's see. Yeah, they're just a bunch of, uh, oh, it glows in the dark. Oh, that's what that is. Oh, well, god damn. So this glows in the dark, so if I were to, the lights are off, it's not dark enough, but if I took it into a dark room, I could, in theory, show you guys this. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so that's that. I was wondering why it felt that way. Wanted. A wanted poster for the mass vigilante criminal, Batman. Even though he's not. You got that Elias Batman. Date of birth unknown, male, approximately 6'2", 210 pounds. Build muscular, unknown, 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 Caucasian. What if he's not and he's just using some sort of makeup? Please contact the Gotham City Police. Yeah, this is when he was not a hero in Gotham. He never intended to be a hero, so. And right here we have a folder, okay? So I can pop open the folder, just like this. And I'm pretty sure this is where the, go uh, the what do we have here? What is this? It's like a kill contract. Look, one night to kill the bat. Payment for this hit is 50 million. And then you go into details. Assassin agreement. Look at that, it's an actual agreement. The bulletin. Copperhead. Just a minute, there's a lot of stuff in here. This is, this is Deathstroke. 
right here. So these are like, is he really 6'5? He's huge. So these are like uh, profiles for the criminals. Firefly. Sorry, I hope you can see that, okay? It's just difficult to hold this way. I'm trying to keep them all together. Bane. When Bane was like that. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. Um, sorry. Deadshot. And they have their real names as well, which is pretty cool. Deadshot. Yeah, this is the Gotham City Police Department. These are their... Uh, electrocutioner. So these are probably a lot of the enemies I'll be able to see in the game. Electrocutioner. What else we got in here? Oh, geez, my fan almost took that away. Shiva. Honestly, a few of these people I don't know. I don't... Like I said, this is the or origins. And then, of course, Killer Croc. God, that's spooky. Anyway. So that's that. You have the contract to assassinate Batman and all the police files for his enemies. If... There we go. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to get this flap down. Okay, well, that's that. I can put that off to the side for now. And same with this stupid thing. We understand it's all made in China. Okay, this is neat. I knew you'd get a Blu-ray. Necessary Evil. Super Villains of DC Comics. That's neat, actually. Experience the icons that forged fear the Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, Bane. It's basically kind of like a documentary in a way. Oh, sorry, I'm not even showing you. So, yeah. I'm going to actually open this. Sorry. Just trying to get this going here. And these are just the little things. This isn't even the main meat of what comes with this collection edition. So. Okay. I don't know, I don't want this to blow away, that's the problem. Got a fan on. Okay, that's that. Let's open it up. Oh, let's get rid of that. Okay, necessary evil, you got the disc here. And this is a um whatchamacallit code. Digital copy, so I'm not gonna show you that code, but that's neat. A little Blu-ray series of that. And of course this stupid thing fell down the back. Right here as well, we have the actual game disc, the game itself with our exclusive content in it. Now, if I got the regular edition, this is what I would have had regardless, if I got it on PS3 like I did. So. You know, I'm gonna put it in that, there we go. Now I know where it is, okay. Open this up, make sure nothing is exposed. Okay. So inside, we're dealing with a few game add-ons. First, we have the first appearance Batman scene, how he was first seen. Uh, then we have the Deathstroke challenge map. So yeah, they do have their challenge modes. I never really did the challenge mode. I don't know if I will. We'll see, but that's there. And then this is your actual, hold on, just down. This is your, uh, hold on, just make sure there's no codes in it. These are just your instruction manual. It really doesn't have anything in it. All it is is, uh, Warnings if you're if you get some I don't know if you're just if you're a derp or something I don't know You know just in case you hit <laughs> you have seizures or something while playing the game, okay? All right, so you also have your game disc here nothing too special there and on the back Make sure there's nothing here Your enemies will define you so Depending how this goes in this game. He's not just a villain anymore, and he's a hero I think that's pretty much how they're going about this. Okay, what else we got here? What the hell is this? You've got evidence, and it's like a tooth. It's a broken off tooth. Can you see that? And it says, hold on, sorry, I'll try and, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to read. If you can read it, awesome. To be opened by authorized personnel only. Evidence description forensic dental. What's that say? Possible missing persons. Dixon Docks location, December 19th, 931. Okay. I don't know what this could be. 
I'm sorry, like I said, it's origin, so that could be just about anything. And also on this side, we have more evidence. The final offer 10K casino chip. Okay. Um, the Lacey Towers penthouse, December 21st, 815. And found by R. Montoya. See, you get an actual chip there. Okay, and here, dear God, it just does not stop. Is <laughs> a giant art book. Whoa, there's even more stuff in here. There's a couple more things in here. Okay, hold on. This is a pretty nice one, the Arkham Origins art book, okay? So I'll try my best to open it. It's all hardcover. Now, maybe I'll go behind the camera, set it from the side, so we can hold it out like I sometimes do. There we go. So you got the art book there. Warning. Hidden files. Jim Lee. Proceed at your own risk. Spoiler imagery. So we won't go too far into it, but art book, art book. It's really nice, and it details everything. So I'm just going to skim through it. I don't want to spoil the game for myself. So that's pretty cool. A way bigger art book than... Uh, here, I'll show you the Arkham, Arkham City art book here. Give me a minute. Find it. There we go. Ah. Oops. Remember this? <laughs> and it had the actual game disc in the back. At least they didn't do it with this game. I didn't because I have to keep this as my uh, as my game case because it doesn't come with one. So I'm glad they did that for this one. So that's the art book, and it also slipped it. What was inside it? This is a picture of the Wayne family. So that's Bruce there, the young man, Bruce, and his two parents, who I don't 100% know about. And then this looks like a poster, an anarchist poster. The enemies of the people are the enemies of anarchy. Remember what the parasites stole from us. I'm sure you could like, it's like it's been spray painted. That, that's kind of cool. That's what they do, they spray paint it on the wall. But that's that, okay? So I'm gonna stick this back inside the art book. If you'll be cool about this, there we go. Okay, that's that. Now we're onto the statue, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna be very careful when I'm taking this out. Like, we're gonna take it out carefully. But also keep in mind that it doesn't wanna come out. Damn it, sorry. Damn it, no, hold on. I'm way over here to do this, because there's I can get my feet around the box. There we are. Okay. So we got it out of the actual box. I'm going to try and open this accordingly without popping the styrofoam. Can I ask why in the blue hell would you tape the whole thing? Like it's not a lighting thing, it's taped all the way around the box. All the way around the damn box. It must be pre-assembled then, I wasn't sure. Because if you don't, like I said, styrofoam is a bitch to clean up. And I don't really want to do that. Like watch, and then I'll end up cutting the damn thing. Okay, so far so good. I think I got it actually. Alright. I got it off. Alright, so Joker, as you can see, he's shamed. He's very shamed. So he's wearing some sort of a sheet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so I gotta get this thing out of here. I can see why it's very fragile. We're gonna unwrap jokes. Here we are. Okay, and I gotta take this out of this box. There we go. And it's still got some wrapping in it, so. This is actually larger than I originally anticipated. Well, yes and no. There we go. Alrighty, separate that. So here is the statue. Oh, Jesus. All this styrofoam everywhere. I'll do my best to uh, show this to you in detail. Um, so yes, obviously it's Joker on a table <laughs> with his wad of cash. And he's got those same posters that I showed you before. 
like one night to kill the bats and the reward and all these computer monitors and he's got like a teddy bear off to the side as well i don't know if you can see that over there that's kind of neat that's really detailed from what i can see let me just see what else we have here that may be of interest what is this, is that, that looks like a piece of bread i don't know i'm sure this will make more sense once we get into the game now is there anything on the back that we should be worried about nope nothing really but that's really cool it does take up a lot of space and i'll have to move some stuff here but I'll make it work okay I'll make this work so from what I can see that is it I'll try and put the main things you got your I'll have to zoom out a little bit I think for this one just so you guys can see so yes you got the art book here the blu-ray the game itself all these pieces of paper that are like uh, blueprints and little behind the scenes type things and you get the main statue itself joke with his knife or revolver tradition this is like classic Joker from what I understand so I I wonder who's doing Joker though because I remember um, Mark Hamill was was doing the role in both Arkham Asylum and Arkham City but I don't think he's reprising his role in this one so we'll have to find out I haven't looked too much into it but I still think it's gonna be a really awesome game so I guess we're gonna find out once we get started so I got to clear this up and get started on this game it's gonna there's a lot of crap in here, so thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for the gameplay, it's coming up right away, I'll be posting as soon as I get something done, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video and favorite as well, and we got some more Batman coming your way. Alright, thanks a lot guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in game.